Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making this amazing seafood boil. It's so quick and so good. If you would like to see the whole recipe, keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay guys, let's begin. For today's recipe, we will be using some fresh live crab from Fathom Seafood. There's nothing like using fresh live crab. I want to give thanks to Matthew at Fathom Seafood for sponsoring this video. These crab came overnight, packed well with ice packs, and very much alive. I will leave a link of their website in the description box so you can get some fresh live crab delivered to your door too. And these are Dungeness crab as you guys can see by now. They're so much alive. Now I am going to clean them once I'm done cleaning them. Remove all the shell. This is what you have, some fresh crab meat. Okay guys, let's get to cooking. I am going to bring a large pot of water to a boil. Well, I'm going to add a little bit of salt in there. Then we're going to let it come to a boil. Once that is boiling, we're going to add our crab right in. We're going to let that cook for now while I get started with the potatoes. I'm using potatoes, corn, sausage. You can add whatever else you like, like um, eggs and whatever else you do like in your seafood, okay? So we're going to add the corn. In the corn I'm using, they're so sweet. I just love, love sweet corns in my seafood boil. So extremely sweet. Now we're going to add in our sausage. We're going to cover this and let it boil. And don't forget to add a little bit of salt in there as well because you do want the corn and the potatoes to have, to be salted, okay? So we're going to cover this and let it boil until my corns and potatoes are nice and tender. While we let these cook, we're going to start with the seasoning. For the seasoning, I'm using one tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, half tablespoon of lemon pepper, mm -hmm. and also we will be adding a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix that together and boom, you have your seasoning. Keep in mind the Old Bay has salt. You don't really need salt until after. So now y'all can see my crab is nice and cooked. Make sure the crab meat is cooked. To stop the cooking process, I am going to place them into a cold, ice cold water so it doesn't continue to cook while I get ready to make my butter sauce. And of course, by now my potatoes are nice and cooked and tender. I removed them from the stove and set them aside. Now for the butter sauce, I am going to add one and a half stick of unsalted butter. Then once that is nice and melted, also I added one garlic clove in there. I just mash it, you can dice them. I just don't like chewing on the garlic, so I just mash it. I like the flavor. Now we're going to add the seasoning in. We're going to cook the seasoning. Make sure you cook your seasoning for about three to five minutes. Then we can add our crab in. Now I have decided to add another stick of butter. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of hot sauce to make this a little spicy, not too much. If you want, of course, you can add more hot sauce, but yeah, one tablespoon of hot sauce will do. Then we're going to add our crab right in. Now 
by the way, if you're new to my channel, you have not subscribed, girl, what are you doing? Please subscribe, join the family, because over here, we eat good every single day. I'm coming here giving you ideas on what to cook, so please hit the subscribe, turn on the bell, so you can be notified whenever there's a new recipe, you'll be the first one to know. Okay, so now I'm basically pouring the butter sauce all over the crab meat. Make sure they're swimming in there because we need this to be delicious and buttery and mm, look at that, y'all. It looks good, it looks good. We're going to let it simmer and make sure all that butter sauce get in there and then we're going to remove it, set it aside so we can add in our potatoes and corn. If you have a bigger pot, you can add everything together, but I don't. So I'm going to remove the crab and add the potatoes. And do not overcook your potatoes. That's one of my pet peeves. When, when you make seafood boil and the potatoes are like so mushy, I hate that. So make sure you don't overcook them. And basically y'all, I am going to mix the butter sauce with the corn, the potatoes, the sausage. Mm, I didn't add the egg in because somebody don't eat egg. So <laughs> I'm not going to put it in just yet. And basically I'm going to remove the potatoes from the stove just pour it all over the crab with all that saucy butter seasoning flavor on there of course you can't forget your lemon of course you cannot forget about lemon just squeeze some lemon as you eating this Look how easy it is to make seafood boil at home, guys. Why are you wasting your coins? Why are you wasting your money at Juicy Crab? Why can't you make this at home? <laughs> Ain't nothing like eating some fresh crab meat, y'all. I have to tell you guys, it's so good and sweet. Oh, y'all have to get your hands on some fresh crab. Go to the description box right now, click the link and purchase yours. Today, you will receive it literally tomorrow. All right, Fathom Seafood Boil is the name of the company. Please, please, please check them out. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.